Uh, hi, this is um, Crossway. This is my house. Um, and I'm going to take you inside and uh, show you around. Come through the um, vacuum insulated doors that we have. Divided into four main rooms on the, uh, on the facing south. And um, we, so we're trying to get as much daylight into the rooms that we use. And all the utility spaces like the bathroom and the utility room are kept on the north side um, yeah, so that we just get the benefit of the sun where we want it. We've got triple glazing throughout the house and this space here um, has just been a triumph. I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't matter whether it's raining, windy, sunny, you can come and stand in here and it's like being outside. Uh, so in here we've got things like this. this is the heat recovery ventilation unit. This is where we're bringing fresh air in from outside, recovering the heat from the old air, and then passing the heat recovered air back out to the rest of the house. We've got um, data loggers so that we can separately see how much electricity we're using and where we're using it. So we can kind of ascertain lifestyle aspects of the usage of energy. It's a pretty thin structure. There's no, there's no reinforcement in it. It's just three layers of structural tiles. Then there's black rubber waterproofing on, on here and then another layer of thinner tiles which is just acting as a finish so that you see tiles from the top. There's a foot of soil um, up there to support local native flora and fauna because uh, you know, eventually we want this to be a, just a, you know, a living shaggy, shaggy meadow roof. We've built a kind of diaphragm floor to spread the load out into the uh, side walls of the house. Um, and the, the treads are made out of a very thick ply. The balustrade's made from a flax rope made at Chatham Dockyard, just up the road. This is scaffold tube. This is recycled timber that the builder had from a project, a uh, previous project. Um, and, you know, the clay tiles are from up the road. So it's all local or recycled. So upstairs here, this is our guest bedroom. But you see it's actually very open to the hallway. Because um, actually most of the time you don't have guests around. So rather than having a room sitting there doing nothing, We've got a room that kind of is open and makes it feel more like a, a day bed so you can come up here and read a book in the afternoon. It's just like an upstairs lounge. But then when we do have guests around, we've got this big door that we um, swing open. And, uh, and then you've got a guest suite. We've got 26 square metres of uh, the UK's first PVT system. And this is a, a combined photovoltaic and solar thermal panel. Um, so we generate our heat and our electricity from these panels. And by keeping them cool, you generate more electricity. And in, so, in, in, doing, in generating more electricity and extracting that heat, we then store that heat downstairs in our phase change materials, and it's free heat. So we get more electricity, and the byproduct of that is heat, which we also store. So it's superb. All these panels do is generate. Some of the stuff we've done here is going to be applicable to the common market and some of it's always going to be a bit avant-garde or maybe a bit high end, you know, very high end. But um, by trying out a lot of different things and monitoring it and, and learning from it, um, I think there's an awful lot we can get from this. To have a house that's got bills is, is, is not ideal. To have a house that's got no bills is even better. Have a house that gives you money back at the end of the year, that's where I want to go.